What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Modern Dating. Let's get straight into it. Right, man. Well, appreciate you. Who am I here with today? Noah. Tierra. How y'all doing today? Good, good. Good. So how long have y'all been together? Three years. Three years. How's the three years been going? How's everything going? Good. Everything's good. Yeah. Has it been like a rough three years or anything? Uh, it hasn't been the best, but we're good. We're making it by it. Has anybody been cheating or anything? No. No. So when you say not the best... Mm. No. His shirt, give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you mean not the best? Like, feel little arguments or anything? Something like yeah, that. you know, like typical argument. Okay, okay. So what if I was to tell you, there's this website called Cheetah Bus AI where all you need is a face, a skin, and all we need is a name and location. Would you be interested in doing that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. But first, are any of y'all any damn websites? No. No. Okay, so here's the website right here. Why you type the name right here? Wait to that face photo to uh, lock in. So, if she was on here, what would you, be your reaction? I'm out. You're out? And you're not on any day once, all right? I am not. So, because we can see the last time you've been active on here and everything. You sure you're, you sure you're not on here? Positive. Boom, we got the results. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, sir? <laughs> no, Sean. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. I thought you said he wasn't here. Come back. Now that right there is how you do it. You don't get Come back, baby. Won't you come back? <laughs> you can put it all on me. Good lord, man. You can take the girl out the streets, but you can't take the streets out the girl. Husband's a pretty lucky guy. This stuff was amazing. If you divorce him, text me his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> For those saying she forced me to marry her, she didn't force me. Look, I'm happy. She more like convinced me. Convinced you? <laughs> no, I made the decision myself. You didn't convince me. I made the decision myself because I love you. Exactly. I, and I'm married to you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be in this forever. My choice and you agreed your choice. Nobody forced anybody. Nobody forced nobody. I wanted this. Exactly. These so Latina women be spicy, bruv. I've seen their content. They're hilarious. Good job. I don't like where this is going. Kind of strange the way that she was looking at it. Yeah, I know, but they be doing this stuff for content all the time. They're 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 absolutely hilarious. They're they're funny. Great ideas on money and dating. Dates are reserved for a man you are dating. If you want to get to know. Stupid. What? Dates are reserved to a man you are dating. How are we supposed to get to know you if we can't even take you out on a date, dummy? Stupid. Good Lord. Oh, a man, you should meet for coffee, a drink, meet in a park, take a walk, have a conversation. But then that's not good enough for you ladies. What do I look like? What do I look like to you? A girl that wants to go out on a walk or go on a coffee date? You ladies don't even think that's good enough for you. You want five-star dinners at, at Ruth Chris. And the thing is, most of the time, these ladies are runners. She's a runner. She's a track star. We got to take you out to a dinner? These women expect three $500 dates? Bro, you out of your mind, bruv. There should be no exchange of money to get to know a man. Do not take anything from him. Get to know him. Ask questions. Find out if you have a future together. If you are intentional about... Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool, but that's not the reality. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 20. To each his own, kudos to them, but me personally, I'm not taking a dancer with a fresh two-year-old home. Oh, bro, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Dancers? Bro, chat, let me know. Would you wife a stripper? Absolutely not. <laughs> and especially you mix that with a single mom? Single mom. It's a no for me, cuzzo. 26 and I initially popped it because of the outfit, but now that I get close to you and I heard what you say, I want my balloon back. Oh. <laughs> um, do you have any kids? No kids. No I kids. have a kid. Okay, Yikes. cool, cool. And how old? Two. Okay, awesome. Yikes! It's the, what's the situation with your me and my son's father do week to week we have good mm -hmm. co-parenting relationship mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. awesome and why did that end <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's awesome that's key word for I don't care it ended because I was in a relationship with him for six years and yeah. he didn't marry me oh, got, got you. that's on you though 
well, why didn't he marry you? Why did you give him the highest honor on this planet, a baby? Which, by the way, she's looking pretty snatched up. It looks like she got it back in shape. She's young, though. Why would you give a man the highest honor on earth, your womb, your body, and not require him to marry you? This is why I always say marry before you carry. So it was like it was a boundary. Yeah, I had to you. stand on business. I had to go. Awesome. And, yeah, you, you know, really I was stood on business there, honey. Gave him a kid. You really stood on it with him from 19 till seven, oh, eight months ago. You, so I want more kids. I just want to be married first. That's fine with me. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you just want to be married first. You want to be married in the first place. And ladies, you don't do better than your baby daddy. Shots fired. You just don't. You don't do better than your baby daddy. That's it. That's the bar for you now. Oh, that's fine with me. All right. Well, yeah. then, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And yeah. is it a yes for you for her? For sure. We got a match! Well, there was another part Bruh, of this. I don't, I don't know. He's going to be like, sure. He's like, I'll beat the cheeks. <laughs> recreational use only. This is why I say single moms, recreational use only. It's a lot of baggage. It's a lot of responsibility without the return you're investing a lot and not getting any return but and the thing is with an investment it's insinuated that there's an roi a return on investment with a single mom you don't get a lot of that well this next guy won an argument with his girlfriend i told you i'm leaving oh i hope i don't lose you <laughs> seriously please Stay. Why'd you do this? I want you, i need you oh god don't go away say these beautiful things that I've got! Dude, he can sing. It's stay. I want you, I need you, oh God. Stop. That was easy. I live on my own. I've got a child. And I'm tired. I'm tired. Single mom. I'm tired of paying bills. Every day money's coming out of my account. The other day someone, a guy was like, oh, you need a microwave, like, because I've just moved into a new place. He was like, I'll get it for you. Do you know how gassed I, know you I was? Were clapping. <laughs> you were like, Do you know how gassed I was? The guy said, I'll get the microwave for you. I said, oh, they're like... But you know that makes me sad, what you just yeah. said, slightly. In a bit, it, like, I'm bittersweet, because it's like, I get it. Like, I'm a mum as well, I get it. Yeah. It's bills every day, but it makes me sad that, like, we got happy because... Microwave for us. Like, no, because that, that means it's really 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 Here's the thing, ladies. Um, no guy wants to be your hero. I can be your hero, baby. And then the fact that you guys are paying bills, you're doing things that a regular adult would do. Oh, you got to pay all your bills? Brutal. That's what men have to do. We have to do it all the time. Pay our own bills, work our own jobs, come home, bills come out. Everybody. It's just, it is what it is. But I don't have to, like, no, because oh, I don't have to buy it. That money can go elsewhere. No, please, no, no, no. No! It's hard to. We got to end the simp epidemic, dude. It's so bad these days. Men will come out there. I'll get you a microwave, baby. I'll get you a microwave. And look at the reactions in these other guys. Like they just know better. Like, yeah. First, aware that what I'm doing is cheating. Lois was married at the tender age of 22, and then separated five years later after cheating on her husband with her work husband. What I'm gonna say is gonna sound really bad. Mm. I got to a point I needed relief. Mm. Prior to you kissing Hello. him, what did you think you were doing? If I was to sit and tell you everything that happened that transpired after. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. You won't believe me. You actually consummated that work relationship. It was too much. When you went back the second time, did you think, I'm gonna put it down now? Got away with it. Mm. What am I doing here? I didn't know what the plan was. Was he single or in a relationship, your work husband? He was not. Oh! She cheated on her faithful husband and then became a single mom. It was ultimately her <laughs> single mom. <laughs> Her decision, but it helps to think. You know how we feel about the single mom life, man. You gotta live it and love it. Shows the difference between brotherly love and girlfriendly love. With girl. Okay. With bro. Because men, this is where men and whip women differ. Loki, does somebody want a chicken foot? Chicken feet. Free. Sit. 
Wait. Wait. He's locked in. Free. Go to your place. This is where men and women differ when it comes to relationships, especially ones that are non-sexual, amicable, things like this. Men have friendships that are unconditional. We have unconditional friendships where you don't need to really provide me with anything, but yet we're still going to be homies because we just enjoy each other's companies. As far as ladies go, usually it's a conditional relationship. Oh, well, she disturbs my peace, therefore I don't want to hang out with her. Oh, it's this from her. Oh, it's that. Oh, I get this. I get that. Like, it's a big, it's a big trade for women, whereas men, and let me know what you think, chat. Let me know in the comments. I have a lot of guy friends where all I want from them is a little bit of quality time sometimes. I want to hop on the game. Maybe see him once a year. We do like a yearly like Christmas thing where we kick it as boys. Like that's all I want. I don't want anything from them. I don't want a birthday present. I don't want a Christmas present. I don't. Want, I don't even get a happy birthday from my like closest friends. Well, I think I got it from two of them this year. But like I don't get it most years, and that's okay. I'm not mad at that. It doesn't bother me because I'm not looking at it as a conditional relationship. It's more of an unconditional thing. Like hey, we enjoy each other's company. And when I see you, I see you, and it's all love. But women, it's just much different. And then. What I've always noticed is that women have expectations of you, whether it's a relationship, and when those expectations don't get met, they get upset. Because they're like, well, I had envisioned it that you were gonna do it this way, you didn't do it that way, so you made me mad. Like, Cass does that sometimes. She has an expectation of what I'm supposed to do or what she wants me to do, and if she doesn't get that outcome, she upsets herself. And it's like, well, don't have that expectation and you won't upset yourself, but that's the way women's minds work. <laughs> Girlfriend deletes boyfriends, NBA 2K overall players. I'm done with you. I'm done. Are you serious? I'm just done. You're that serious? I'm done. I agree, man. You know how long I'm done with you. You don't understand. You don't understand. Especially if he was a streamer or he made his livelihood from this game. And the thing is, with a lot of these games, it's like you got to put in a lot of hours to get your character to a certain place. And women just can't understand this. We get invested in a story. Like I just played Dead Island 2. I was really invested in that story the entire time. Cass couldn't understand it, but I'm like, I absolutely love the storyline. And I'm invested in getting these guns and getting these different weapons. And if she would have deleted it, I would have been upset. It may seem trivial to them, but like, let me know, chat. If you worked really hard on like NBA 2K, Madden, Skyrim, a game like that, you had played it all the way through, gotten a bunch of armor, got a bunch of accolades, and, and earned a bunch of things that were like really tough to get. Would you be upset? Personally, I would. You always say this shit for the dog. It's not funny. Stop talking about it. Ah, the hell. Oh. It's like women, women just find the little bit of peace and the little bit of love that you have, and they just want to stomp on it. And then she's probably going to gaslight him and say, really, over a game? Oh, a chat, we're done. Are you I'm done with you. Why? Why? So malicious. Are you? <laughs> well, after doing some research, it was said that that was actually worth $300,000. So someone like him definitely deserves a more supportive girlfriend. Oh, now, yeah, this next grand, yeah, yeah, if that's his livelihood, bro, she's tripping. And shows the differences between how we can diet. All right, first meal of the day. That's right, nothing like a plate for the pain for breakfast. Wow, protein pancakes. A beautiful girl deserves a beautiful breakfast. My ancestors went days without food and water, so who am I to indulge in the instant gratification of breakfast? Protein shake, protein shake. Oh, this one has pineapple, mango, grapefruit. All right, time for a protein shake. Add oh, some eggs. Straight raw Give it eggs, <laughs> bro. There's no way. <laughs> I've done it once. It tasted terrible. And apple fruit. Yum. <sighs> Tastes like shit. Perfect. Baby, I could be out with my friends and we could be having a blast. But the minute that my man calls, hello, you said what you want me to come with? I'm out. Me and Turner. Bro, she is a winner. A complete winner. Love that. Love that energy. Hey, I'm out. Period. Hey, where are you going? To my man. To my man. You always with him. You just with him. Again after that, mm -hmm. and again after that, and again after that, because that's, that's 
that that level of loyalty has just evaporated in the modern dating market right now like women just don't feel this pull to men like they used to it's very like what do i get from him if he's not providing that then i'm over it Loki, can you stop licking that thing please we're we're recording you got it busted wide open <laughs> licking your under grundle can you just give that thing a break for a second and be a good co-star and sit on camera please Good lord, son. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She like. does understand the value that her man brings to the table. And friends may come and go, but an exceptional marriage can last a lifetime. Now this next one reads, POV, you're at a stoplight, but you're supposed to be in your healing girl era. Healing girl era? Stupid. What is that? Thought she was about to run his pockets because he got a two she point. She divorced him because he got two point seven million. Oh my lord, have mercy! Seven million dollar settlement. It didn't count towards his income, though. And you went on Facebook before court and told everybody, "I'm about to run this the pockets." Watch this, y'all. Um, would you be? When in child support amount isn't the amount you were expecting. Baby mama divorces husband after he's granted a two point seven dollar million settlement million dollar settlement she didn't know that settlements don't count towards his income her last fake but post before court equals i'm about to run my ex-husband pockets up wish me luck <laughs> this is gonna be good an agreement for child support to be set at 307 dollars for how three yes ma'am like 100 a piece 307 dollars would be the child support amount that would be ordered. Is that what is what we're asking? For three kids? Oh my lord. Are you in agreement or disagreement with that amount? Three total? Yes. No. Okay. Um, what is the um why are you in disagreement? They're boys, they're in they're in sports, they're constantly eating, they're constantly growing. Um, everything is so expensive. Is one is about to graduate soon, and he's in. Um, he's getting ready to do like all his other school activities. Is I just don't agree with three hundred dollars at all. For her to go online and brag about trying to get his money was just wrong because it encourages others to do the same thing. I really hope you enjoy these ones today, and don't man, that's that's crazy work. I'd love to see the rest of that because um, I bet it's absolute crazy work. Ask, asking to get i mean 300 dollars for three kids three kids chat let me know that, that just not, that just does not feel like enough bro that doesn't feel like enough at all uh let's hop in the reddit and see if we got anything no new posts on the reddit womp 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 so guys i'll be reacting to videos in the reddit i'm not doing discord anymore it's just there's too many there's too many posts um uh, so we got 46 members shout out to you guys um but um Post anything in here you want. I'll approve everything. Uh, I don't know why this link didn't show up, but put it in the actual Reddit. This way I can actually react to it because, um, like I said, the, the Discord was just getting a little crazy. Um, but yeah, man. Ended a three-year relationship. The girl in the beginning ended a three-year relationship because she wanted to be on Tinder. This is why, dude, it's like, if you meet these women on dating apps, you almost have to assume that even though you've met her, she's still on dating apps. There was a couple times when I was living in Austin where... I would let girls know from the jump, and this is always this is a good tactic. Whenever you're meeting a girl, it's always good to let her mention to you first the talkings and rumblings about a relationship. You never want to start talking about that first. Well, I'm looking for I'm looking to be in a relationship, baby girl. I'm looking for a girl to really like settle down with. Never mention that. Make them be the ones always saying like, "So what are we?" That's good because women are hypergamous, therefore they're going to be thinking, "Oh, he's above me. He's looking down thinking, "Okay, well I get with this girl," right? Never mention a relationship with a girl. Always say on these on these Tinder, Bumble, Hinge profiles that you're just looking for something casual and just looking for friends, looking to have a good time. And if a girl ever says, "Well, what are we?" I thought I would really, I would really like us. What are we? What's next? And be like, "Hey, I really enjoy your company. This is the gaslighting Olympics. I'd get the gold in." Hey, I really enjoy your company, but don't you like where we are right now? Yeah, I mean, I really like where we are. Great. Well, why would you want to ruin a good thing? I don't want to ruin it. I just, I just want to take the next step. Take the next step. Why are you, are you not, are you not having a good time right now? 
well, no, I'm having a great, let's keep doing what we're doing because when expectations get set and then those same expectations don't get met, people get upset. You don't want me to upset you, do you, baby? You don't want me to upset you. No, I don't want to be upset. Cool, let's just keep doing what we're doing. I love, I love your company. I love being around you. Let's keep getting to know each other and maybe one day we can take it to the next step. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. And now you're winning. Um, but you always got to stay a step ahead. You got to be Sherlock Holmes in these in these modern dating markets. Because the thing is, you'll go out there and get with a girl, and the thing is, she'll still be talking to her ex. And then, Ripley's, uh, uh, and then before you know it, Ripley's, believe it or not, she's been bucking her ex the whole time. And you don't want to seem like the Igmo that's trying to take this girl serious when she's getting her back blown out by her ex. Stupid. So you really got to play your, play your cards real, real intelligently. Because the thing is, you will get taken advantage of real quick. Nice guys finish last. That's not a phrase I made up. That stuff has been around for a very, very, very long time. So even if you don't want to be a mean guy, I highly urge you to be stern in these situationships and make women beg you to be their girlfriends. Never ask a girl first, like, hey, what? Oh, so, so I'm thinking we take it to the next step. Never, never, ever, ever. Even all the great smut books, all the great sh movies about love, all of them are toxic and they're about cheating and they're about infidelity. Women like that stuff. And women like to pick the winners and they just wait at the finish line to pick the winners. That's what they do. So they need to think that you have options at all times. I know this might sound crazy, but you need to seem like you have options at all times. Like no matter what, like, yeah, if I got out of this, like I'd be, I could find another you in a minute, no time. I could find another chick in no time. I'm older. I have more money. I'm good looking. I'm in shape. I could go get a 22 year old and show her an entire, a whole new world. Like Aladdin did Jasmine, a whole new world. We could do that easily. Us as men, as we get older, we age like fine wine. Ladies, y'all age like yogurt left outside in Texas in July. Shots fired! Don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Please don't shoot the messenger, Shiba Denaya should have bought a Honda. I'm just saying, we age more gracefully. Like I'm 34 right now. I feel like I feel like I look like I'm 27 or 28, or maybe I look 34. Chat, let me know. How old do I look? How old do I look? Let me know and be honest. Got some grays in the beard. It is what it is. Facts kind of given out. You know, it is what it is. But I'm in pretty good shape. So I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best with what I got, man. But Loki, did you have a good time today? God, he's so freaking cute. You're lucky you're cute. Hey, can you not lick your stuff when we're in the middle of an episode, please? We, we've got we've got spectators here, and you're you're going to town on that grundle of yours. Now, when we no 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 uh, uh, Loki, don't start licking that grundle again. Here in a minute, once I stop the recording, you can go back to licking your under grundle, okay? Goodness gracious, that boy. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. If you do want to learn a lot of the tactics things that I talk about a little more elaborative, then please go get the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Um, I got the other ebook, The Four Steps of Style. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.